Okay, next I want to talk about storytelling. It's important to have a few stories to tell women. Uh, everyone loves to hear stories, and in these stories, <laughs> it's a way for you to kind of show or tell her, you know, your desirable characteristics or characteristics that you know women are looking for in men, but without just coming out and saying it, such as saying, you know, hey, I've got a great sense of humor. You can't really say that. But if you tell her a story, you can show her that. Or, you know, saying, hey, I love kids, or, you know, family's really important to me. Yeah, you can say those things, but it's going to mean a whole lot more if you can tell her a story that shows that You find a common ground through storytelling. And, you know, you tell her about your dog, or your brother, or your little sister, or your little nephews, and before you know it, she's going to be telling you a similar story about her animals or her little nephews. And it's not because she's thought about it. It's just because, you know, your conversation and your story made her think about it and triggered her to tell you about her story and, you know, her family. And, and in the big picture, you're telling her about yourself and she's telling you about herself and you guys are getting to know each other. And getting to know each other, having a great conversation, and great conversation is what creates that attraction. Those are topics for some good stories, or family, uh, traveling, pets, friends, I mean really anything, as long as it displays you in a good light. Very important to make sure these stories aren't about how much you had to drink last weekend, or how, you know, down in San Juan, Mexico, you had so much to drink, and that time you woke up with vomit all over yourself, and you didn't know where you were. You know, these are not stories to tell. There's plenty of time, you know, granted some of these stories are funny, and there will be plenty of time to tell these stories, but if you're just getting to know a girl, instead, talk about uh, stories that, you know, display your sense of humor, or display your sense of, uh, your value of family and children. Instead, tell stories that display, you know, kind of a sensitive, softer, more loving, more desirable side of you, rather than, you know, how much you had to drink last weekend or last month or that time in Las Vegas. A uh, few stories that I tell is I have two little niece-in-laws. They are my brother's wife's sister's stepchildren. Anyway, they're my nieces. They're the cutest little girls ever. So we were all out at the lake house, you know, one weekend, and her, their stepmother is a police officer along with their dad. They're both police officers. Anyways, they went out to pick the girls up and the girls were on their way out to the lake house for the weekend. Uh, their dad's a prankster and so am I. So anyways, when they got about a mile, two miles out, they called to the lake house. And they told me, you know, hey, we're getting close. So I went and I put on some raggedy clothes, put on a hooded sweatshirt, and made a, a billboard or a little poster board that said, we'll work for food. Anyways, <laughs> their dad and their stepmom had been telling them about a rash of hijackings in the area. You know, these homeless guys on the side of the road would hijack families and hijack their car. Anyways, when they got, you know, a couple minutes away, they pass me, I'm on the side of the road, they pass and they stop. And so I start limping up to the car and they've got one of these big minivans. Anyways, I scared the girls half to death. Uh, little Sammy was holding a dog, squeezed the dog so hard that the dog, you know, you can see the dog open its mouth and dung roll This out. is a funny story. This is a story that shows my softer side. It shows that I like children. Storytelling is a very important thing. Not only will it help to carry on, on a conversation, but it can provide you a platform to brag about yourself without bragging.